Hey, it's AP, and today we're gonna change the battery on a MacBook Air. Check it out. What I have here in my hand is almost a Apple antique. Yes, it's a five-year-old MacBook Air, back when this was the lightest thing you could buy in the MacBook line. And unfortunately, over the last five years, the battery, of course, has diminished its capacity to hold a charge, to stay on, and so we need to change it. Now, you could recycle this and buy a brand new MacBook. I will never be opposed to buying a brand new MacBook, but we're a little frugal in the AP household, and so we're going to actually fix the MacBook versus recycling it. And you can easily change the battery on one of these. You might not think that it's easy to do it, but it really is. And what's great is when you order a battery from any you know, battery supplier, most often, more often than not, you will get the right tools to open up your MacBook. It's very kind of them to do. So how do you know it's your battery? That's the issue and not something more major like a motherboard or a hard drive? Well, if you keep your battery charged for several hours and then you unplug it and you can only use it for 10 minutes before it dies, that's a good sign it's a battery problem. But you can also look at one of your settings to see if there's a service issue with your battery. Let me show you how that, uh, how to pull that up. So if you just go into, uh, open up your, your finder uh, and go to spotlight and type in battery, you should see something that says battery. You just click on that. And it says its current level is 100%, which is great. Uh, but if you go here, you see this little battery icon, and there's this little exclamation mark next to it. Let's click on that. Important battery message. The battery's capacity is significantly reduced to restore capacity. Please check your service options. And when you click on service options, it will take you to the service page on apple.com. Now, unfortunately, we do not have any service options for this because it's five years old. We don't have any of the uh, Apple support. What's it called? Apple Care? Yeah, Apple Care. I don't think I've ever purchased Apple Care before um, because I'm a DIY guy. I can fix my own problems and you can too. All right, so let's crack this thing open. Oh, but before we crack it open, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on future how-to videos. All right, let's do this. Before we crack this thing open, there's two things that you're gonna to wanna to do. First, you're gonna to wanna to back up your computer. Use Time Machine, uh, hook up an external drive and just drag all your folders over there, upload to the cloud, do whatever you wanna do, but make sure you back up your files because you are opening up the MacBook and you do not want to accidentally do something wrong and wipe out your hard drive. That's kind of fear mongering right there. I don't want to you know, scare you, but anything can happen. And you should be backing up your computer at least once a month anyway, or at least up to the cloud. So get on that. Next, power off the computer. Very simple, just go into your finder and power off the computer or hold down. This is the battery I got. Uh, it's the Ninja Bat. I've actually used this in the past. Uh, what's great about it is it actually comes with a battery and the correct tools to open up your MacBook so you don't have to go out and buy special tools. This comes with it. Now to know what battery you need, if you look at the serial number, can you see that on the underside? If you flip over your MacBook, you will see a bunch of stuff designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, model. Model A1466, that's what you need. Go to Amazon, go to the Batteries Plus website, Mac World, there's a bunch of other websites that you can get these at. Um, search for the battery that will fit this particular model. I will leave a link to the battery that I purchased for the A1466 2017 MacBook Air model. So once you have your battery, I'm going to crack this open and I will show you the cool little tools that it comes with. All right, so in the package, you will have your beautiful brand new battery covered in a nice little static uh, little piece of plastic there. And you will also have special tools to use. So uh, this comes with the unique screwdrivers 
that you're going to have to use to crack open your MacBook. Mac uses a star-shaped screw to prevent access and really limit the ability for the average user to open it up. You know, thank you geniuses for bogarting the market there. Uh, but this comes with the tools, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's grab these, put the battery aside, and then let's bring our backed up and powered down laptop. And then we just have to remove these screws here. There's 10 of them. And just like any screwdriver, you pop it in, you screw it, unscrew it. And uh, just put those aside. You do not want to lose these. They are very small. Uh, I should be putting them in a uh, container. And then we're just going to carefully pop this open. And it literally just opens up. So we'll put that aside. And here we can see the old battery. There's your fan, there's your hard drive, in case you were curious. All right, so this really just There's this little tab here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently pull it out. See? And now the battery is disconnected. Super easy. And then uh, there are a couple screws here. So th this came with two screwdrivers, uh, one for the top, one for the bottom. And this has four screws, I believe, as well. Now we can pop this out. Easy peasy. Now we take our brand new battery, carefully place it. Okay, just slide that in. Oop. Okay, that's nice. So pop that in, place this down, and then we just carefully put these back. So we got our big screws up in the top and in the center. Okay, the battery is now in, and let's just carefully peel off the plastic. It's actually not static, it's glue. Okay. And now we simply put the backpack on. All right, moment of truth. Oh. Well, it's always a good sign when the laptop actually powers on. All right, the battery is at 45%. All right, the battery's at 45%. And let's pull up the battery to see if there's any service messages or anything like that. Oh. Oh. Battery. Perfect. No service messages. The battery is now replaced. It has no service messages, which is a win. And so now that we have a fresh battery in here, we have to let it get down to about 10% before we plug it in. You don't want to plug it in immediately because you're going to mess up the charge cycles. So let it go down to about 10%, then charge it to 100, let it get down to 10% again, charge it to 100, do that about five times, and then the cycles will kind of be fully you know, ready to go. Um, if you let it go down to zero, it's going to completely mess up the battery. Uh, so don't do that. Follow the instructions that come with the battery. There are some really good pointers on how to get the best and maximum life out of your fresh new battery. So now that you have your old battery, you can take this over to a recycling center, uh, find a place that takes rechargeable lithium batteries. Uh, you don't want to throw this in the trash. 
I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you saved a few hundred dollars by DIYing this yourself or from buying a brand new laptop. Although again, I would never, never poo-poo you buying a brand new laptop. They're just so great these days with all the advances in M1 and M2 technology. Hit that like and subscribe button. Share this video with a friend who you think could benefit from my shining personality and my ability to change laptop batteries. Did you find this video helpful? Well, let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this with a friend, and until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.